concept of the, um, the hoop court that I came up with was an extension of a collection of uh, artwork that I do called Space Particles. Being that the, the particles themselves are abstract and you know they're geometric but organic at the same time, it turned into more of like a spiritual process. You, you know what I'm saying? It's like because it's a lot different, you know, when you have something as a sketch and then you have to actually, you know, lay it out in the environment that it's going to be painted in. There was some Im improvision, but that's part of the process itself. It's almost like jazz, you know what I'm saying? I mean, 20 different people could play a trumpet 20 different ways or 21 different ways, depending on who's playing. You know, that whole process of sketching it out and getting the lines drawn on the court was was interesting and, and like I said it's more of like a, a spiritual process just getting it to, to lay out and get it to where I feel like okay this is how I want it to look. After that became the process of actually painting which which was a, another learning curve. This being my first time working with this particular you know medium the tennis court paint you know I had, to, I had to feel it out as we went along you know I, I had a general idea of how to apply it but still you know working with this medium for the first time you know there was some, some like I said some learning curves of you know know how much to apply how to spread it certain colors went on better than others you know certain colors needed two or three coats some colors went on with just one coat knocked it out so we had to, you know, feel out the actual medium even as we were applying it to the court, which, which was, it actually turned out to be fun. Um, I thought it would be perfect for this particular project because, you know, the whole collection consists of like high energy abstract pieces that are really like an extension of graffiti work and like graffiti pieces that I've been doing you know my whole life. I want to take it to like a, another level up to like a next level and you know use the whole the same energy of graffiti but then just abstract it out and you know keep it keep it something that that has its own particular identity you, you know what I'm saying so when you see it you know, like that's a particular style that I'm working with. It's not just, you know, me just doing anything, throwing any colors or whatever out there. So I thought it would be dope for a hoop court because, you know, when you're out there, cats is out there balling, it's, it's like high energy, it's like high power. You know, you're out there to play a hoop game and you want to go hard. So um, I thought, you know, it would be a good match for the hoop court, you know, plus, you know, my first time doing something this, this size, I felt like the particles would lend themselves to something big, big and bold. So yeah, so just the whole process of, you know, working with this, this particular medium for the first time was, was a lot of fun. It turned out to be fun. You know, and then the center court itself represents the, the inspiration for the whole court, you know, which, you know, says the village, which is, is like a nod to Washington Village, which was the home of a lot of residents that had been there for years and that, you know, really populated that park and gave that park, you know, a soul. When the park got developed, and came back, I think we definitely had to do something to to, to honor the people that that, that gave that area its, its heartbeat. Um, so that's why we dropped the village in and put the center court. With this collection, that's, that's where 
you know, I started to feel really expressive because, you know, when you're working with abstract stuff, like I said, it's not, you don't have to stick to certain representative, you know, portrait type style. You can can just sort of go go free with it. You know, I was able to go back in and add, add the jazz, I guess you could say, you know, where the real, you know, essence of the piece starts to come in is applying some, you know, improvised splats and, and shapes and, and, and color contrast to make it really, really pop out. If you notice, instead of doing, you know, the whole court, one big solid sort of motif of, of space particles, um, there's two two opposite sides that might look similar, but they're, they're sort of totally different. And I think that, once again, just being influenced by, you know, basketball, street ball, you know, when you're playing, you know, you can know the rules of the sport, but it's the, the, the extra flavor that you got that makes you stand out even as a player. So, you know, I wanted the, the end piece to, to reflect that. The whole landscape has changed, but I feel like, you know, everybody, you know, in that area is willing to work together. You know, I think it's going to be dope. And, you know, especially the hoop court, I think that's going to bring a lot of life to the neighborhood in the coming years. I think that'll still be like the, the heartbeat of that area as it's been for many other years. Hope you enjoy it. If you get a chance, come down to Ryan Park, South Lawn, Connecticut. Check it out. Peace. <laughs>